What is up guys, Vintage Jeff here and welcome to my AFC West 2018 season breakdown, how I think the standings are going to pan out and we're going to go from fourth to first guys. You know, there's been a lot of changes on each team. I mean, the Chiefs got rid of their starting quarterback, they got rid of their star corner and the Broncos moving off from Trevor Simeon, bringing in Case Keenum. You know, we got the Raiders with the new head coach. New philosophy, you know, it could be a completely new team. And we got the Chargers, they're just retooling, who could be a threat, guys. So without further ado, smash that like button. If you're brand new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you're looking forward to the 2018 season kicking off, guys, I am as well. Drop a like down, or drop a like, you know, and drop a comment down below. And we're going to get right into this. And coming number four, guys, who I think going to finish last, it's going to be the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm sorry, Chiefs fans. You're not going to make the playoffs this year. I guarantee that. You're going on from Alex Smith to Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, second year guy, you don't know what you're going to get, really. I mean, he played one game last year against the Broncos. He played all right, but it was against like the third and the third and fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth stringers. <laughs> not very impressive from what he played, but I mean, he did he did all right. I'm not gonna lie, he did all right. But guys, you get rid of uh, Marcus Peters, you're the one of the top five corners in the game, you know, albeit he's he's a bit of a problem, but he play his play on the field should surpass how he plays, but yeah, he does get a lot of passing not pass interference calls. He gets a lot of flags, you know, unsportsmanlike flags. It, it's a bit ridiculous. He he's a bit of a diva, but they're gonna make up ground trying to replace him. Gonna be hard because he you know, at least top three in interceptions every single year. So I mean, they got Tyreek Hill and Kareem Hunt, but I don't see anything else there. I mean, Travis Kelsey, one of the good tight ends in the league, but he has some homes thrown to him now. It's not Alex Smith. So, you guys, I'm going to say they're going to go 5-11. and 11. I mean, that's all. I can't go any higher. I can't say 6-10, to 10, and I'm not going to say 7-9. and They're definitely, for dang sure, not getting 500 ball, guys. I'm so sorry. Chiefs fans, if you hate me, I'm just being honest. Be true to yourself. You know, you know, you're not making the playoffs. You know, you're you're gonna just have a terrible year this year. Anyways, yeah, five eleven Chiefs coming in third place, guys. The Oakland Raiders, new head coach. He's very old school. Uh, John Gruden. I mean, he's coming off. He yeah, he has a Super Bowl win, but how long ago was that? A very long time ago, and it was pretty much somebody else's team. It was Tony Dungy's team. He didn't draft those guys. So, I mean, he did all right. He coached well, but. Football's changed, Gruden. It's not. It's not what you once knew, man. It's totally different. It's not. It's not run down your throat, constant football. You know, like you think you're going to turn into there. I mean, with the addition of Doug Martin, who's a really good back, and Marshawn Lynch, which I think he needs to go away. David, I mean, Derek Carr, he's not doing very good. He really isn't. Last year was just miserable for him, and they got rid of Crabtree. I mean, they got Mari Cooper, who just was less than himself last season. He didn't have a very good year. I mean, what are they going to do? I mean, on that defense side, Khalil Mack, he's, yeah, he's the premier pass rusher. But what else? <sighs> Sorry, Raiders fans, but I see you guys at least, you know, best 7-9. and nine. You're not hitting 500 ball, man. It's just not going to happen. You just don't have the talent. I mean, Derek Carr, he just isn't playing well, man. you got to get your quarterback going. He has to play at an elite level. You know, to make those playoffs. Anyways, guys, number two. Oh, it's so hard to pick here, man. God, I really hope we win the division. But I'm saying the Chargers coming in second, guys. I may be a little biased, but Phillip Rivers is known, is known to come up short. He's not clutch. And, you know, all the games last season – they're, they were in every every you know every game, but he couldn't get it done. He couldn't get the job done at all. I mean, they have the weapons. They Melvin Gordon's a beast on the ground, and I'm really excited to see uh, Derwin James play. You know, they just drafted him. You know, the first round. I was hoping maybe we we would have took him, but we got Bradley Chubb. But James, he is a beast safety man. He's gonna be all over the place. But I'm gonna say they're kind of gonna come in second, and I think they're gonna they're gonna be a ten and six team. They're gonna do all right. They're gonna be a ten and six team. I think they'll probably be a walk card. They're going to make the walk card. I think the Chargers have a good year. You know, they're moving and whatnot. I think there's probably Phillip Rivers maybe last one or two seasons, so they're going to try to go on top with them. But, of course, coming number one, guys, is my Denver Broncos. We're going to go. I'm not – I'm hoping 
I want to say 16 and 0 so bad, but it ain't gonna happen. Obviously, we're going 11 and 5. You know, I think with the addition of Chubb, as much as I didn't like that pick because I really wanted a quarterback for the future, I think Chubb and Miller, dude, they're gonna. I'm gonna say they're both gonna have 10 plus sacks this year. Miller, I think, said hit 17, 18. I think he's gonna have just a monster year. They can't double him anymore. I got, you know, I got Chubb on the opposite side. I think he's going to pull about 10, 10, 10 to 12 sacks, I'm going to say. And with that, you know, the depth that we have, Shane Ray, Shaq Barrett, uh, Demarcus Walker's finally getting into his end position, which, oh, my gosh, if you watch it, if you watch Florida State tape, he's a monster. If we can get him coming off, you know, as an end, you got Miller, Barrett, Shane Ray, Bradley Chubb coming on the outside, watch out, guys. And I know fly zone still intact. I know we got rid of Keep Talib. TJ Ward's been gone for a couple years now. Chris Harris, Bradley Roby, they're very well capable of keeping that no fly zone intact. And Justin Simmons, he's going to be a great free safety. And they got Darian Stewart. You know, Sue Cravens is going to be that TJ Ward role, you know, coming in in the box. He's young and I think better than TJ Ward. I know Cravens has, has some injury issues, but I think he's going to step it up. I think we're ready to go, guys. This is not the Trevor Simeon led Broncos. And, I mean, Case Keenum, if he could play like he did in Minnesota, we'll be all right. I mean, do I think he will? I hope so. With every fiber of my being, I hope he does. But Chad Kelly, I think, is going to give him a run for his money in the preseason. I think he's someone to look for in the future. But anyways, guys, I think we're going to make the playoffs. We're winning our division, finally, after two years of not making it. 11-5, Broncos, going to make the playoffs. Win our division. Second place is going to be the Chargers, 10-6. and six. Third place, Oakland Raiders, 7-9. and nine. And the Chiefs, I'm sorry, but 5-11. They're not going to do anything good for the next couple years. So if you guys like my you know, standings, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, guys. i got plenty of videos coming. You know, entertainment's on the way, guys. Drop me some comments. Let me know what you guys think the AFC West is going to do. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.